this team of army medics is rehearsing. Not for the outbreak of war, but the outbreak of virus. It's a battle where shaking hands can be more lethal than dodging bullets. Where the adversary numbers in the billions. Where nothing is constant but the body count. Viruses are things on the very edge of life. We can't taste them, smell them, or see them. But they're there. In the air, in the water, in every living thing on the planet. They're the tiniest, simplest form of life on Earth. Yet they know ways to enter our bodies, kidnap our cells, outwit our immune defenses. Viruses are old. Some believe they're older than all other forms of life. And they are patient. Without a living cell to invade, they wait in a crystalline form somewhere between life and death. Some can wait for centuries. Their only goal is to reproduce. Viruses are pure purpose. Viruses, when they're out there in the environment, are basically just pieces of genetic information wrapped up in a protein coat or some other little bit of protection, vulnerable to all the elements in general, and just waiting for the next living thing that they can grow in to come along so that they can infect and propagate themselves. It's the form of life that cannot subsist. It doesn't have the machinery with which to live. It can only do so by entering and utilizing another cell for that purpose. And when it uses human cells for that purpose, we usually end up the losers. Diseases caused by viruses are as potent a force in the history of man as war and natural disasters. Influenza. 15th century Italians called it that because they believed it was caused by the influence of stars and planets. Smallpox was first reported in Chinese literature 3,000 years ago, now extinct. There are seven different kinds of herpes. Chickenpox is one. Odds are you have herpes right now. Kuru is found only in cannibal tribes in New Guinea, transmitted by eating human brains. Each cold you get may feel the same, but it's not. There are hundreds of different cold viruses. In your lifetime, at least 50 of them will catch you. And the list goes on, as common as colds, as deadly as AIDS. Viruses are a cause of a lot of misery. Uh, there's the, the viruses you catch uh, in the office, in the daycare center, that your kids bring home from school, that cause minor disease. We don't diagnose viruses specifically uh, so that we often pass them off and we don't pay the kind of attention to them that we might. 